Welcome everybody to a new episode Let's Play War Zombie Nation Infected. Um, as you guys probably remember, I decided to just go with Infected for now. I'm just gonna wait a little bit uh, before I come back with the survivors because well, there's too many things uh, going on, too many games running in my schedule, and I really want to dedicate a special section section to War Zombie Nation. And I believe that the best way to do it is to just dedicate to one of the factions um, and the future once that they release the final game or maybe in a couple more weeks I'm gonna start focusing on the other one I wanna try to give as many tips as I can uh, with the infected for now so then we can switch over uh, and continue playing with the survivors All right. so first of all I'm gonna invite everybody to join the Game Hunter Infected Guild it's still open we got six member right now, which is great. It's for open for all members of the subscribers of the YouTube channel. Uh, people are joining little by little because um, I, I know a lot of people don't have access to the beta. So if you're still trying to get into the beta of this game, which is awesome, and understand one more time there is a beta, okay, that means that the game is still developed. So whatever you see in the game is not the final product, okay? That is really important. So. Uh, if you still want to go ahead and try to apply for the beta, go to worldzombination.com and enlist now because this game is going to be awesome. All right, so like I say, six member. So now we can start doing some guild stuff. Remember, that's something that I couldn't do before because I was just it was just me. <laughs> so little by little, I'm start recruiting people, some infected players. Um, we're gonna probably go into a raid today. I'm gonna show you that. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna go back to something that we didn't mention completely last time. Evolution, okay? Evolution is really important. Um, remember we were, let me, let me go back to the team. i show you real quick, see? See, this is the, the unit that you have. Some of the units now, they have perks, okay? The first level of perks, they unlock at level three. The second level, level 10, okay? So what you wanna try to do is try to get units at level 10 right that way you can start un uh, unlocking these interesting perks that i'm sure they're going to make a difference in the game but it's not that easy okay um for example let's go to the evolution chamber let's try to add a unit for example let's say i want to evolve the titan the titan that i have is level nine but the problem that for me to continue evolving the titan i need to have another unit of the same type tricky and difficult uh, sometimes with some units it's going to be really difficult to to be able to evolve uh, because they're not common all right for example the the titan is not common it's a rare unit so i hope to get that drop again so i can combine it with another one and get it upgraded uh, so that's why I decided to do something. Uh, remember that at the beginning we always have a bunch, a bunch of uh, stuntmen, brute, deliverman, infectors, runners, speeders, right? So those units are really good because they're quite popular. They're easy drops. They drop in pretty much every missions. So they're common. They're common infected units. So that means that it's gonna be probably easy to upgrade. A common infected unit that a unit that is already rare or legendary mm -hmm. I was trying to upgrade my Dreadnought uh, my Dreadnought unfortunately can because it's, uh, it's a legendary creature and I need to get another Dreadnought in order to do that okay so in order to continue upgrading my Titan I need to have another Titan okay so I decided like I said I decided to start upgrading some of the basic units and these units are gonna it's gonna be easy to evolve so for example I got the speeder in here see you got the speeder and now that it's level 9 in order to unlock level 10 I need to have another unit so they can combine mm -hmm, with another unit of the same type and that's what happened you see right, right now I'm gonna start using I'm gonna use another speeder level 1 and we're gonna start evolving this is something I was waiting and, and I didn't want to do it uh, I had a chance to do it yesterday and I decided to wait because I want to show you in the video that's that's the whole idea of my videos I like to share everything that I'm learning um, and especially in these games because these games uh, for example Zombination War Zombination is still 
and development um, we don't really have a rele uh, release date but I'm, I'm so happy with the way the developers work they constantly give us information the new stuff is coming up and they're doing a great great job so that's why I'm trying to show this game as much as possible no 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 um, so by the time you guys have a chance to play it boom you at least gonna have all the bases so it's not gonna be that difficult to get into it okay why is it important to evolve units remember we talked about the resources okay when you have a resource let's go to the resources okay, right here okay if I use only one Brutus to extract DNA uh, the production is 20 DNA per hour and the maximum is 112 but if I add a level 8 unit like uh, let's say the Dragon no, for example where's the Dragon where's the Dragon I just saw the Dragon over here did I did I make a mistake oh it's still in okay it's getting um, refresh it's getting recharge but for example we can put the patient zero okay so now that we put the patient zero unit A now the production per hour of DNA is 30 and the maximum is 320 that is another important reason to evolve your units see the next boost is gonna come with one of my units at level 14 and like I say it's it's kind of difficult to find for example a drag knot that I can use to continue upgrading this legendary creature but it's easier if I decide to upgrade a Brutus or a Speeder because they're so popular so common that you're not gonna have any problem going to level 10 14 and even higher right so th that is the other reason why it's so important to have um, you see I'm already having the in the brains I'm also collecting brains and we go over here see right now if I use just the the Brutus that had a production of 52 brains per hour uh, maximum of 480 but if I add this biohazard level 8 look at the production it changed big time so it, it is ultra important to do these kind of things at the beginning of what I was doing I was pretty much uh, destroying or selling all not not sell destroying but uh, for example let's go back over here let's grab one of these brutus this brute okay you can consume these units and you're gonna receive some dna in exchange okay that dna is the one that you use to upgrade your units but at one point i stopped and said okay hold on a second i have a maximum on 100 units um as you guys can see on top of the brutus the brute um why do i call it brutus it remind me of that character from Popeye. <laughs> oh my god, what a bad crossover! Anyway, so I had a, a maximum of 100, so I can continue getting um collecting these common units. So I, instead of uh, consuming, well, once in a while I need to consume them because I need the DNA to continue upgrading some other units. Um, sometimes it's good to keep some of these common uh, units so you can continue upgrading another ones. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing with the, with the, boom, with the speeder at this moment, right? See, this guy's upgrading. Speeder is gonna upgrade in about six hours, and we're gonna be able to upgrade the second level of perks at level ten. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So, it's completely worth it to invest a little bit into some other uh, basic common infected units they're easy way easier to to upgrade so let me go back to my team I've been upgrading my team trying to keep a balanced team and the idea if you have a balanced team is that you're gonna have the opportunity to play often right? and quite often uh, if you have only one team that is good well you're gonna play one two maybe three missions and then you need to recharge your units before you go can go again and in another mission so instead of doing that maybe it's a good idea to have a secondary team a powerful team that can help you also to continue with your tough missions okay uh, the other thing I was gonna mention is the well once that you start having members in your in your guild 
I, I don't know if it's randomly, but uh, I'm gonna be able to use troops from my other members in my missions, and that is really cool because usually those members and I mean those troops are not gonna be a, a brute level one. Uh, probably can get a I don't know speed or level ten or something like that, depending if one of my uh, guild members have that kind of unit. So that is pretty nice. I, I like that. I like that. That's a good idea to share and have a purpose. Uh, for the guild, besides the perks, of course, you see the the, the higher the level the, the the guild, the more perks we can unlock, and the benefit is for the whole guild. Okay, so wh now that we have a guild running, we can actually go and start doing some raids. Okay, we already started raiding Los Angeles. Um, in order to unlock some other areas of the map, I need we need to unlock uh, the second level or tier two of Los Angeles. Los Angeles. I don't know why I say Angels, really? <laughs> wow, I don't need to translate that. Uh, Los Angeles. So we're gonna get into action right now. One of my the members of the team is attacking Los Angeles. So let's get into action. Uh, the cool thing about the, the raids is that the rewards are in DNA. Oh see right now I can't the bar with unit that you can see at the bottom. It could be a level nine. Ooh, nice. Or I can get a level four. Five Colossus or oh, a level two from another of my members. I probably get I love the infectors. Goliath, okay, I don't have a Goliath. Nice. I think the Goliath is an uh, evolution of the Colossus. So that's why I decided to upgrade the Colossus. Colossus is one of those units that I'm using. You see? I got my Colossus right there, level five, and I'm trying to increase them because I have another Colossus. Uh, waiting so that way I can upgrade this unit all right let's get into action uh, we need a require required team power of 150 oh there's an option to go on hard oh but I guess the level of the guild has to be higher because it's saying join a guild to attack in there no let's go back with my 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 okay so the current team power is 615, which is not bad because this is not even my top team. I mean, most of the the top infected troops are resting right now. So let's get into action. 655 brains, and welcome to Los Angeles. All right, let's analyze this. I really enjoyed this game. This is such a great idea. Um, and the developers are doing a really good job. The artwork that they're releasing, the, every time that they change something, the graphics, the now that they add the PVP with the, the last beta is is great. All right, so let's not get too crazy and let's organize this attack. So if we go from here, this paramedics, I think it's a uh, mm -hmm, snipers, gunslinger. Yeah, I got some gunslingers in there. Or there are two more sniper, one sentry gun, corporal outlaw, and another sniper. Okay, so if we start from here, we should be okay. Uh, one of the benefits of the Titan, you guys see the the blue, the one that is at the bottom right side in blue. Um. Is that it has an armor? That unit has an armor, so it doesn't receive damage from those guns linger. So we can probably deploy a big group of troops in here, and maybe put a troop over there. I put a Colossus, and I put the other Titan going in the other direction. It should be okay. Spear in the middle is always good. It's always important to to keep some range units. Now that we're getting over here, we can start flanking. And it's always important to get some more range units. Can we get an infected? Infected is the best, one of the best units uh, to revive. And Dr. Zombie Wits also. You can be in the middle. You see, right now the infector is reviving troops, so I can deploy more and more zombies. And so far we're doing okay. We're gonna speed up this a little bit. See, right now I can deploy six more of these guys. And I haven't even deployed the rest of my troops. So let me see. I'm going to deploy another. And that Titan level 9 is doing an awesome, awesome job. 
it's not really there's probably nothing that those outlaw could do against that titan and i well, I believe it was a really simple and quick mission right that is good that is good the more we play the more um points we can we gain towards the next tier level of the raid right so we got xp we got um we got some troops and we got some dna see all my units are like a halfway now they're all in yellow so let's continue let's go one more time over there where is us Los Angeles there you go and uh, let's go to another round we're gonna use the same unit um, let me see we can use the I can send it I can use the same unit from the ender so I'm gonna continue just as Goliath cool oh, well I don't think I need a Goliath let me use the Jamie infector okay let me use the infector why do I need the Goliath? Because I already had the Colossus and I had the Titan, so that and the Zombie Wit, that which is enough um, power for melee attacks. All right, let's go to Los Angeles again. Los Angeles. Again, it's really important to get to know. I mean, the, it, it was good to. That I play with the survivors for a while because I, I kind of know some of their troops, so I know how deadly they are. For example, over here, the machine gun, uh, he's gonna spend time deploying the machine gun. When the machine gun is in place, I'm gonna be in trouble. But if you see the respawn point of the infected, it's really close to the machine gun location, so I don't think he's gonna have enough time to deploy the, the weapon. On time. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do double attack. We're gonna attack from here. We're gonna attack from here. We're gonna attack on a couple speeder in the back. See, he didn't have a chance to deploy any, any, any of the. Okay, we're gonna put an infector in the back too. Infector in the back. I know they're going for the hospital. Hurry up, guys! Hurry up! I want to deploy more units. Waiting for you. Okay, now I can deploy another chunk of zombies. Put a couple of colossus, a titan in front, because they can they deal really good against the outlaws and gunslingers. Oh, those snipers are gonna be trouble. But again, I gotta put another titan in front to be able to take care of business. And again, we didn't have any problem. I mean, this first couple of missions in here is not that difficult. And that probably, ooh, what else? We miss him. Oh, miss troops. Oh no, that was the last one. Nice, nice. That was quite fast. So, like I said, you see that you can continue playing, but if you don't have an, a team, like a backup team, well, you might need to wait until they they recharge. More infected, another brute. You see, that's why it's important to. To use these units and the basic common units to to be evolved. There you go. All right. So what do we have? Let's change the team a little bit. Okay. Let's see. If we can get the mortician. You going out? And maybe use my butler. Titan, you still okay? I'm still not convinced about the sprayer. Um, supposed to be quite good because it create like a some somehow like a cloud surrounding him doing and doing some damage to enemies surrounding this one but still uh let's try the assassin again unlike the assassin uh, i haven't been able to use it that much but it's pretty 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 good against uh snipers right just remember Unless he attacks, he's completely undetected for the survivors. So, very useful unit. Okay, so we got the Colossus level 5, with the Philo level 8. Some people are still okay. Let me change the Philo. Let me see if I can get something else. I need to con I need to upgrade more the Philo, probably. The reanimators, another 
cool troop that I want to... You see, there is a couple of interesting troops that I want to um, start upgrading and evolving. But I don't want to do it because I'm, I know I'm going to get stuck once I reach level 9. So I'm trying to be more smart and I'm I'm going to start upgrading units like the Brute, the Deliver Man, the Runner, Infector, Speeder, because I have a lot of those units. Alright, so what's going to be the replace for this guy? We can probably... See, I got a couple Colossus. I like the Pit Boss. Interesting, interesting infected unit against uh, barriers and, and buildings. It has like an extra damage, so it's quite powerful. If there's some barriers in front of you, doesn't matter. The Pit Boss is going to bring them down in two seconds. Alright, I guess we are fine. Let's go back and try to help in there, because for example, I was trying to play in um. Oh no, we can raid also Buenos Aires. Nice. See, I was trying to get to Nairobi, but in order to uh, um unlock Nairobi, we need to complete tier two in Los Angeles with my guild. So that's what we're trying to do right now. But the idea is to have more people attacking at the same time, so you can easily finish this. All right, let's go into another fight with some other units. What units? I can only choose that one. Um, oh, the rewards are higher if I go in an, in another difficulty. Let me go in... Mm, should we go in hard? Give it a shot. If we go in hard, I need to probably change some of my troops because... Uh, yeah. The, mm hmm if I go in hard, I would love to change some troops because I know it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me go back to my guild, I mean my troops, and change my team a little bit. Uh, pit boss. I'm sorry, pit boss. I need to wait, my friend. I need some other units in here. Wow, I need to upgrade some other common infected because I'm running low in uh, melee characters hold on what is, the, what is the one that are collecting resources patient zero ok yeah, patient zero you're coming with me uh, ok you know yeah you're coming with me and I'm gonna replace somebody here the pit boss Patient series coming in. Okay. So we have Melee with the Colossus, Melee with the Titan. I can't use the Drake now, unfortunately, because it's in recharging mode. Uh, but let me check real quick. Let me see if Brody's ready. But up, up. Um, where is the Drake now? Oh, 20? Really? 20 minutes, that's too much. Alright, we're not going with you, my friend. I should go, but I can. Okay. Alright, we, I think we're ready. Alright, let's give it a shot to this raid in Los Angeles with a uh, hard difficulty. Let's see how that goes. It's going hard, they need. The team power is 500 now, so. <laughs> <laughs> see how that goes. Um, wow, we need to pay a lot of brains to get into this. Let's hope that we are gonna be successful. <laughs> Boom. All right. Yeah. Yeah, the levels of the survivors are way higher. Mm. Interesting. I can probably start from here. Nah. I'm gonna start from here. Get a big group from there. And then I'm gonna put the. As soon as that barrier is gone, I'm gonna throw a couple assassins. And see, those assassins can take care of the snipers. Yes, you see? They're so cool and fast and everything. I'm gonna use the patient zero 
to infect whatever units are around. All right now, this sniper is gonna be trouble. So let me put that. Oh my God! You bring down my tiny one go. Jesus, you guys are tough. I don't like that at all. All right, now we're gonna start attacking from this side because. Okay, another patient zero over there. We are in deep, deep trouble. Those snipers are causing a big problem. Let me let me rush. I'm gonna send the. There you go. We send the Bengals over there. So the the units are gonna start the flare. I'm sorry. So they're gonna accelerate. I'm gonna move faster now because my flare is like a level two or three, something like that. All right. Now we think we got something under control. We should be in good shape now. I can't believe my Titan went down in two seconds. I mean, in one shot. I know the sniper is deadly, but that was just ridiculous. Anyway, so now we can move forward. And now I got those uh, special ability that I can. Uh, well, I'll show you right now when we get there. So I can get some zombies and infectors coming from the ground. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. All right, let me use the Steam C pack. Steam zip back first. There you go. And now I'm gonna deploy some zombies from the back so they can surprise the the snipers, catch all the attention of the snipers, and I can take care of the rest. I mean there is so many combinations that you can do. There is there is many 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 types or teams that you can create in this game that is amazing there that that's one of the things the customization is something that i love i love in this kind of games um war combination is doing great because there's so many different infected units and survivors of course um cool so it's easier to it's easier to to get involved and, and come up with your own uh, army of and uh, like I say, this all depends on your game style. All, de all depends if what kind of player are you. You wanna try to uh, use a lot of explosives using the Libermans, or you gonna try to be still with the assassin, or you wanna use characters like the Patient Zero that in fact they have that special cloud surrounding them and doing damage to all the enemies and in the surrounding areas. Well, there's too many, 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 many possibilities okay all right i hope you guys enjoyed this episode it's, it's almost 30 minutes which is crazy and um just want to say thank you to everybody and don't forget to like subscribe my videos now i'm part of the war zombie nation stream team so i hope you guys are also supporting this um amazing amazing game and series that i'm doing okay i'll see you in the next one take care infected <laughs>